Jules Verne, the man who dared to dream of the future and brought us along for the ride. In the realm of literature, very few authors have managed to capture the essence of adventure and the thrill of the unknown quite like Jules Verne. Born in the small coastal town of Nantes, France, in the early 19th century, Verne would go on to become a master storyteller, a pioneer of the science fiction genre, and an inspiration for countless writers and inventors who followed in his footsteps. Jules Verne was a visionary, a man who saw beyond the boundaries of his time and place. His works, rich in detail and filled with extraordinary inventions, were often far ahead of their time. From submarines to spaceships, Verne's novels introduced readers to technologies that were nothing short of fantastical in his era. Yet today, they are part of our everyday lives. His influence extends far beyond the realm of literature. Verne's imaginative work sparked the curiosity of scientists and inventors, prompting them to turn his science fiction into science fact. His stories stirred the imagination, not only of his contemporaries, but also of generations to come. Consider the legacy of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Verne's depiction of the Nautilus, a submarine far more advanced than any that existed in his time, undoubtedly inspired the development of underwater exploration technology. Similarly, his lunar adventure in From the Earth to the Moon predated the actual moon landing by nearly 100 years. Verne was not just a writer, he was a dreamer and a futurist. His works are a testament to the power of imagination, the thrill of discovery, and the limitless potential of human ingenuity. He painted a picture of a world where anything was possible, where the line between fiction and reality could blur, and where the future was filled with endless possibilities. Verne's works were not only a testament to his imagination, but also a beacon for future technological advancements. His stories continue to inspire us, inviting us to dream, to explore, and to push the boundaries of what we believe is possible. In 1863, Verne's journey began with five weeks in a balloon. This adventure tale takes readers on a thrilling journey across Africa, as three explorers navigate the skies in a hydrogen balloon. The story, rich in themes of exploration and scientific discovery, captured the imagination of readers and set the stage for Verne's future works. The explorers in the story, much like Verne himself, were pioneers, pushing the boundaries of what was known and understood about the world. They demonstrated a hunger for knowledge and an insatiable curiosity that would become trademark traits of Verne's characters. Five Weeks in a Balloon was more than just a story, it was a manifesto of Verne's vision of the future. It painted a picture of a world where science and technology would open up new frontiers, where the impossible would become possible. The book was a hit, and Werner was well on his way to becoming a household name. In 1864, Verne took us on a thrilling journey to the center of the earth. With this tale, he crafted a narrative so profound, so rich in detail, that it shook the very foundations of our understanding of the world beneath us. Verne's journey to the center of the earth brought us face to face with a subterranean world of prehistoric creatures and natural phenomena, an underworld that challenged the scientific knowledge of his time. The story unfolds as Professor Leidenbrock and his nephew Axel, driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge, decipher a cryptic message and embark on an expedition into the unknown. Their journey takes them through volcanic tubes, past underground oceans, under phosphorescent forests, and even encounters with prehistoric beasts. It was a voyage that defied the realms of possibility and dared to venture where no human had ever set foot. Werner's narrative was groundbreaking, not just for its imaginative depth, but also for the way it embraced and integrated the scientific curiosities of the era. His vivid descriptions of subterranean landscapes, the geological marvels, and the prehistoric life forms found there were all underpinned by a rich understanding of geology, paleontology, and mineralogy. Through his storytelling, Werner managed to intertwine the thrill of adventure with the wonder of scientific discovery, sparking a curiosity in his readers that transcended the pages of his novel. The impact of Verne's journey to the center of the earth was profound. 
It stirred up a sense of wonder and curiosity about the world beneath our feet. It made people question what was possible and inspired them to explore the unexplored. Even today, over a century and a half later, the echoes of Verne's imaginative narrative continue to inspire scientists, explorers, and readers alike, encouraging them to push the boundaries of their understanding and to delve deeper into the mysteries of our own planet. Through his vivid storytelling, Verne sparked a fascination with the unknown depths of our own planet. His legacy is a testament to the power of imagination and the enduring allure of the unknown. In 1865, Verne shot for the moon, and he took us all with him. In his novel, From the Earth to the Moon, Jules Verne took his readers on a fantastic voyage, a journey that would have seemed impossible in his time. Yet Verne's vision was not just about the moon, but about the potential of human ingenuity and the power of dreaming big. In the tale, Verne imagines a post-Civil War America, where a group of gun enthusiasts turn their attention to a new project launching a projectile to the moon. The details Verne weaves into his narrative were remarkable for their time. He predicted the cost and weight of the projectile, the ideal location for launch, and even the feeling of weightlessness in space, all with uncanny accuracy. But Verne's lunar vision was not just about the logistics of space travel. It was about redefining the boundaries of what was possible. He dared to dream of a world where humans could leave their home planet and explore the cosmos. His lunar tales were a testament to the power of imagination and the unquenchable human thirst for discovery. It's fascinating to consider how Verna's lunar vision influenced future space exploration. His innovative ideas about space travel inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and astronauts. One could argue that Verne's tales played a part in igniting the spark that led to the space race in the 20th century. His lunar vision gave humanity a goal, a dream to strive for, and a destination to reach. Verne, in his unique way, painted a picture of a future where the impossible became possible, where the moon was not just a distant object in the night sky, but a destination within our reach. His lunar vision was a testament to the power of imagination the spirit of exploration, and the potential of human ingenuity. Verna's lunar tales ignited a spark in the minds of many, a spark that would eventually lead mankind to the moon. In 1870, Verne plunged us into the future with the 20,000 leagues under the sea. An audacious tale of underwater exploration, the novel presented us with a vision of the future that seemed as alien as the depths of the ocean itself. Verne introduces us to the enigmatic Captain Nemo and his extraordinary submarine, the Nautilus. This vessel, powered by electricity and capable of plumbing the ocean's deepest trenches, was an idea far ahead of its time. Verne's imagination painted a vivid picture of life beneath the waves, filled with strange creatures, sunken treasures and perilous adventures. The story unfolds as we journey with the crew of the Nautilus across the world's oceans, from the Arctic to the Antarctic, from the coral reefs of the Pacific to the lost city of Atlantis, we're invited to marvel at the wonders of the deep, seen through the portholes of this extraordinary vessel. Verne's innovative ideas about underwater exploration had a profound impact on the development of submarine technology. His vision of a submersible vessel capable of sustained underwater travel sparked the imagination of inventors and engineers. It laid the groundwork for the submarines we see today, from the nuclear-powered behemoths of the world's navies to the sleek research subs exploring the ocean's depths. Werner's influence goes beyond technology, though. His tales of undersea adventure inspired generations of readers to dream of exploring the unknown. His stories made us look at the world with fresh eyes to see the potential for discovery and adventure in every corner of our planet. In a time when the mysteries of the deep were as inscrutable as the stars in the sky, Verna gave us a glimpse into a world that was as fascinating as it was terrifying. He showed us that the future was not just in the skies above, but also in the depths below. In the depths of Verna's imagination, we found a new frontier to explore. In 1872, Verne set us off on a thrilling race around the world. Now, imagine yourself in the shoes of Phileas Fogg, our protagonist, with a hefty wager at stake, daring to circumnavigate the globe in a mere 80 days. 
Verna masterfully weaves a narrative that mirrors the technological advancements of the age. The steamship, the railway, the sledge, these were the vessels that propelled our hero on his journey, each one a testament to the era's innovations. Verna's vision of global travel, although fantastical for its time, anticipated the interconnected world we live in today. But this isn't just a tale of technology. It's a story of resilience, of human spirit, and of the relentless pursuit of the unknown. It's about the thrill of adventure, the allure of the unexplored, and the joy of discovery. As we follow fog from London to Suez, from Calcutta to San Francisco, we're not just traversing geographical boundaries. We're venturing into the realm of possibilities. This sense of global connectedness, this shared human experience, is what makes Werner's story resonate so deeply. It's why we, as readers, can't help but feel a kinship with Fogg. We share his curiosity, his thirst for adventure, his determination. We're inspired by his audacity, his willingness to risk it all in pursuit of a seemingly impossible goal. And isn't that the essence of adventure, the lure of the unknown, the thrill of the chase, the joy of discovery? Werner understood this, and he knew how to make us feel it too. He made us part of the race, part of the journey, part of the adventure. In the end, Werner's story is more than just a tale of a globetrotting Victorian gentleman. It's a testament to the power of human ingenuity, the lure of the unknown, and the enduring appeal of the adventure. Through Werner's timeless tale, we continue to explore the world, one adventure at a time. Werner's vision was more than just fiction. It was a blueprint for the future. Let's take a moment to look back on our journey, our literary expedition into the world of Jules Verne. From high above the earth, in a balloon, to the deepest depths of the ocean, and even to the moon, Verne's tales have taken us places we could only dream. His major works, including Five Weeks in a Balloon, Journey to the Center of the Earth, From the Earth to the Moon, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and Around the World in 80 Days, have not only captivated readers for generations, but have also inspired countless inventors and visionaries. Verne's influence on literature is profound. His ability to weave scientific principles into compelling narratives laid the groundwork for the science fiction genre. His novels, brimming with imagination and wonder, have become timeless classics, read and revered by people of all ages. But Werner's impact goes beyond literature. His works have served as a catalyst for innovation. Werner's vivid descriptions of submarines and spacecraft, for instance, have spurred humanity's quest to explore the unknown, the depths of the sea and the vastness of space. His vision of a world connected by technology, where one could travel around the globe in 80 days, is no longer a wild dream. It's our reality. Werner's imagination, it seems, was a preview of the world to come. Moreover, Werner's stories remind us of the boundless potential of human ingenuity. They challenge us to dream, to innovate, and to push the boundaries of what's possible. Werner's works are a testament to the power of imagination, a beacon guiding us towards a future where nothing is out of reach. Indeed, Jules Verne's legacy lives on. His tales continue to inspire, to ignite curiosity, and to kindle the spirit of adventure in us. In the realm of Jules Verne, the future is always within our grasp. 